Hi everyone, my name is Christina Powers. I am the owner of Common Sense Business Solutions. I wanted to talk to some of you uh, for a few minutes because I see on Facebook that a lot of you are selling different things, you're providing different services, and you're taking your talents, your skills, and your ability, and you've created yourself a little hobby. Keep exploring your talents and your creativity and keep allowing the world to see what you're capable of. But I also encourage you not to be afraid to call yourself a small business. And I really encourage you to explore the idea that your hobby, or it may have started out as a hobby, may now be considered a small business. And of course you're probably thinking small business equals tax money and I don't want to pay the government any more than I have to and completely understand that. However, you may have to, believe it or not. Uh, the IRS has certain standards and certain requirements that discuss the difference between a hobby and a small business. All right, that your hobby may actually be a business that's actually creating losses. If that's the case, there's nothing to fear. Reporting losses on a Schedule C as a small business on your tax return might actually get you some money back at the end of the year. So what is the difference between a hobby and a small business? How do you determine that? What's the line that, that gets crossed? Well. We first have to determine what your intent is. Are you generally just looking to kill time? Are you just making candles at home just because you're bored and a couple people here and there are like, hey, make me one too, I'll pay you for it, yada, 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 then you're probably running a hobby. But if you started doing this, if you started exploring your, some of your talents and abilities and you discovered that more and pe more people are interested and now you're like, hey, maybe I can make a go of this. Maybe I really have something big going on. And you maybe to start going to flea markets and setting up tables or posting them online for sale in Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, something like that. If your intent becomes to try to make money, then the IRS considers you a small business owner, like a bunch of us. We're all out here just trying to make money, right? What's the next step? What do you do now? Well, first, don't be discouraged. Don't think, great, now I'm self-employed, now I gotta deal with self-employment taxes and insurance and all these things. It's really not as overwhelming as you might think it is. And actually, all of these practices are put into place to protect you, okay? So I'm gonna discuss in another video, what's the next step? So you're a sole proprietor, you're self-employed, you have your own business now. Where do you go? What do you do? I'm gonna tell you, but first, determine if you are actually, in fact, running a hobby or a small business. I'm gonna post some links attached to this video so that you can learn and read and educate yourself. And if you believe, based on the IRS regulations that I'm gonna post, that you may actually be running a small business for profit to make some money, then come talk to me, okay? It's free, the consultation's free. Let me guide you, let me direct you, let me help you so that you can be protected, okay? So my number is on my Facebook page, my email address, hit me up if you have any questions or if you just wanna run something by me, uh, explain to me your situation and maybe I can help guide you, okay? But whatever it is you're doing, keep doing it, Keep exploring your skills, your talents, your abilities. It's a beautiful thing when we all find our uniqueness and we bring it out to light. So keep it up. I empower you. I encourage you. Keep up the good work. Bye.